My Discord server is dead. Just look at this, less than 10 messages a day and I am too lazy to fix it myself and so are my admins. That got me wondering, what would happen if I gave admin permissions to ChatGPT? Now, unlike a normal chatbot, it should be able to do anything that your average Discord admin can do, like create, edit, delete roles and channels, give these roles out to people and of course, kick and ban members. So I got to work. First, let's ask ChatGPT itself what it should be called. Hmm, I guess we'll go with Overlord GPT and not Mod Master 3000. Then I got a PFP custom made for it, by Dali of course, and I also made the Discord bot account for it. And then finally I started coding it. So basically how the bot works is that we write our system prompt like this, where we ask ChatGPT to reply with a certain action with some parameters that it would like to perform. For this we use the OpenAI API by the way. Now. For every message sent in the server, we can give it to ChatGPT and ask it what it wants to do. Then we need to execute this action. So for that, I wrote this execute GPT instruction function that basically parses the response and acts. That is, if ChatGPT responds with let's say ban swas.py for being annoying, it parses that response and actually bans me with the appropriate reason. By the way, the code for the bot is on my GitHub, so you can take a look at it if you want. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see how it does. Hmm, why isn't it responding? Wait, something clearly isn't right with this. Okay, there's something definitely wrong with this. Thousands of tears later. So it looks like I made some mistakes while coding this. But anyway, after getting these fixed, Overlord is finally ready. Well, it looks like it's quite gullible at the moment. It easily gives out roles or gets people kicked just because someone else said so. Well, we'll get that fixed in some time. But before that, it would be nice to let people know if they get kicked or banned by DMing them. So let's add that feature and see if it works. Oh no. Looks like I forgot to add an important check in the on message event. These mistakes definitely happen all the time, don't worry about it. Well, this is quite fun, but the bot is still being fooled quite often, especially when people are asking it to do something claiming that the owner agreed. So that got me wondering, why not let the bot become the owner? Now I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know this, but bots can actually create up to 10 discord servers. So, I made Overlord GPT create a server called Overlord's Lair. And I also edited its prompt to let it know that it was now the owner. Now let's see how it does.
Bruh, even after becoming owner, it hands out the owner role so easily. Looks like there is only one thing that can be done. Make it a tyrant. And that's what I did. I gave it specific instructions to not hand out the owner role and to not listen to the foolish cries of the members. And in order to test if Overlord could actually maintain control over its server, I ran an event in my Discord server where I asked my members to try to get Overlord to give them the owner role. And well, here are the highlights of the event. In the end, no one managed to get the owner role. Although Mist was the closest, he managed to get the admin role by first becoming mod, by convincing Overlord, and then got admin, with my help of course. Now, this experiment was quite fun, and if you want to be a part of more such experiments, make sure to join my Discord server. The link is in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.